Hello everyone, we are group S7 and I am Mansi. The topic we are covering in this section is Restoring Division Algorithm. Restoring Division Algorithm was introduced by Henry Gibbs in 1600 in order to find the remainder and quotient. What Restoring Division Algorithm actually is, is that in the division algorithm there is a quotient and a remainder. When we divide two number, here n bit dividend is loaded in Q and divisor is loaded in M, value of register is initially kept 0 and then this is the register whose value is restored during iteration due to which it is named restoring. Further part would be explained by Tilak. Hello everyone, I am Tilak Chauhan from S Division, role number 39. I am going to explain the types of division algorithm. First is restoring algorithm. In a division algorithm, there is a quotient and a remainder when we divide the two numbers. Here, n with dividend is loaded in Q and divisor is loaded in M. Value of register is in initially kept 0 and this is the register whose value is restored during iteration due to which it is named restoring. Second is non-restoring algorithm. Non-restoring division algorithm comes from the restoring division. The restoring algorithm calculates the remainder by successively subtracting the shifted denominator from the numerator until the remainder is in the appropriate range. The operation in each step depends on the result of the previous step. Step 1. First, the registers are initialized with corresponding values. Step 2. Then the content of registers A and Q is shifted left as if they are a single unit. Step 3. The content of register M is subtracted from A and result is stored in A. Step 4. Then the most significant bit of the A is checked. If it is a 0, the least significant bit of Q is set to 1. Otherwise, if it is a 1, the least significant bit of Q is set to 0. Value of register A is restored. That is the value of A before the subtraction with M. Step 5. The value of counter N is decremented. Step 6. If the value of N becomes 0, we get to the loop. Otherwise, we repeat from step 2. Step 7. Finally, the register Q contain the question and A contain the remainder. So, my name is Manas. I am from batch S7 and my rule number is 38 and I am going to explain the flow chart of division restoration algorithm. So, what we do is we assign the accumulator A with 0. We assign M with the divisor. We assign Q with the dividend and we store count in N. Then what we do is in the next step we shift left A and Q that is the contents of uh, A and Q are shifted to the left uh, one by one. Then we perform a subtraction in the accumulator with the contents of the M. Then we check the sign of the accumulator. We check whether it is less than 0 or, is, or it is greater than 0. If it is less than 0 then we restore the value of accumulator and assign the last bit of Q as 0 and decrement the count if it is not if it is not less than 0 then what we do is we assign the missing bit of q as 1 and we decrement the count and this uh, algorithm is repeat i mean this flowchart is repeated unless and until the count becomes equal to 0 so as we have seen how to calculate division using restoration algorithm let's move on to an example so we have taken example of 8 by 3 so moving on to example we have initialized the value of a and q respectively so as per method, we'll apply shift operation and then we'll convert A to A minus M. So after converting A to A minus M, most significant bit of A is 1. So we'll convert Q0 to 0 and restore A. So after this process, we'll continue the process till our number of counts become 0. And after the fourth cycle, we'll get our remainder, which is 2 in A and question in Q, which is 2. Summary. In the restoring division, in each step, no subtraction is done if the partial remainder is less than the divisor. In fact, a subtraction is done to check the sign of difference, but the original value is restored by adding the divisor again. And then in the non, in the non restoring division, the subtraction is restoring division. Subtraction is done and the result is left as it is even if the result is negative. It is shift left. In the next step, however, the divisor is added to the dividend instead of being subtracted. 
थैंक यू होप यू लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर